add in the grid, uh, you know, the grid positions in the video. Yeah, recording. Alright. <clears throat> I'll start the commentary, um, soon. So, wait, is the mic on? Yep. Alright, so should I just <laughs> do the introduction or something like that? Yep. All right. Well, here we are. Um, I'm your commentator, Smoked, for today, taking over Aggie's spot and Duncan's spot. Um, it's quite a busy track uh, with 19 drivers. Um, it's one hell of a mess, and uh, the chat's having a spaz attack, but that's normal. Um, our fellow drivers are um, all lining up right now. Uh, as you know, we're simply just prepare ourselves, preparing ourselves. Now in P1 we have uh, Mix, in P2 we have Mick, uh, our two-time world champion. We have uh, in P3 Outguard, P4 Tronex, P5 Stofi, P6 ASM, um, P7 Me Meher, um, P8 Dragon, P9 Dennis, P10 Bally, P11 Matrix, P12 Pumpkin, P13 Jerry. P14 Wolven, P15 Pikachu, P16 Moto, P17 Leo, P18 Dan. Oh, no. P19 wait, wait, wait. Hello. And P20 Bath. P21 is Hello. Progress and P22 is Muster. Hello. Uh, uh, we're trying to prepare the drivers right now. Uh, here's our second commentator, Casual. We have the Kurdish lineup. Wait, is it working? Yep. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, just waiting on Tronex, just for him to, you know, for him to get prepared and everything. All right. And it is pretty much light out, and away they go. Mick is taking the lead right now, and Alfgaard is in P2. Tronex is giving pushing like hell right now, and Mick is actually really giving it all. Maher gonna go win the race. I, I really do. Ho I hope not. I hope not. Peugeot winning the race. Hell no. Um. Yeah, the very last. Surprisingly, we have Pikachu, but I, I have no doubts he's probably gonna catch up soon. We have uh, Botguard trying to, uh, you know, really give it all. Um. <laughs> we, uh, who else we got? We got Tronex. They're still battling with a uh, few, like with Dennis and with Maher as well, which uh, uh, Casual is trying to root for. Um, it seems like a pretty good race, pretty good start. Um, yeah, if it wasn't so laggy, maybe I would understand what's going on. Yes, yeah, so, uh, it, it it, everything's so confusing right now. <laughs> it's till later of the race. It's going to be so much more easier. But for now, we let's just focus on trying to bully the drivers before we have to get uh, focused with the actual races. So, but damn, right now it's a very close battle against Mechtronix and Outguard. Dennis is slowly kind of falling behind. Come on, Mahir. Wait, did Mahir go back or front? Did he no, go no, behind no, you? He's still, no, he's still here. He's still battling against Dennis. The two, uh, a Ferrari and Haas. You know what? It's pretty damn interesting, to be honest. Um, Outguard is current. Okay, I've set the <laughs> the, the cut oh. to straight. How does that work? Unless it's probably uh, giving him the warning. But um, yeah, Tronex is now taking over um, Mick, and Mick is uh, starting to have a really good battle with Tronex. Outguard is very easily uh, gapping them by one second, which is, you know, Outguard hasn't really won much last season. He's struggling a lot against our uh, two-time world champion, Mick. But this season, I think he's really determined to give it his all to show that he's actually a really good driver. You know, just regular, normal, idiotic outguard. The one that nobody likes. Look at that loser. Blue ball, imagine. Okay. Yeah, absolute loser. Look at that guy. Okay. Look at him. Look at him. He's trying to gap these guys. Nah. Oh, and he's nearly messing uh, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, my hair. You can take a part of that. <laughs> he nearly messed up as well. Yes, my hair. One second. Um, 
Yeah, he's, he's falling what? behind oh. slowly. Oh crap! Okay, so Pumpkin's actually giving it. Oh damn, Pumpkin's performing really well. He's got no points currently. I have P6. I'm proud of him now. That's really good. That's. I mean, for Persia, it's really good. It's a really good signing. He's been uh, practicing quite a lot these few weeks, but he hasn't had the chance to join in yet. But um, no, he's he's really doing a good job. Uh, let's go check in the back of the grid. Uh, currently, it's uh, Leon versus Mustard, uh, Peugeot and Aston Martin. They're 20 seconds behind, probably a poor start maybe, or probably not as keen with the track. They were kind of struggling with, you know, what fuel they should use, what setups. What? RG, he's a Williams driver, um, ba battling uh, against Duncan over here. That's a pretty good battle right there. It's a very, very small gap, and um, yeah, they're really fine for that P16. Dambo and Pikachu are having a um, battle against each other, two second gap. Oh, and who that was? I think somebody's crashed. No, no, nobody crashed, but I thought somebody crashed them for a moment. And then Leo's falling behind Pikachu and, um, yeah. Oh, and Dambo's falling behind somehow. My health P5, bro, that's brilliant, brilliant. That is actually incredible. That's actually really good. It's a great performance from the Peugeot. They're quite a bad. They're like the like, they're, they're back drivers and everything. And like, for a team that's not really been performing well this season, it's quite incredible seeing it happen. And what do you mean, not been uh, performing well? No, they haven't really been performing well. I mean, due to their poor activity and everything. But right now, we've got a Leo in the pits. Probably had um, some problems with the, the front um, wing. And he's going overtaken by Mustard. That's probably going to push him back. Oh, push him back by 37 seconds. Mick is trying to cut off that one second gap, which he's pretty successful at right now. Uh, keeping a good, uh, clean race so far. And Pumpkin in the Red Bull is actually taking, um, you know, taking out Dennis, Maher, and oh, Matrix as well. It's pretty good to be honest. There's probably there's a potential one-two for the Red Bull. Which will really help them push them up in the constructors, and also will give Outgard the good lead. Our current lead, Stealthy, is falling behind in P9 with his teammate uh, Dragon in P8. Dragon, you're a top G right there, my man. What a guy! Oh, and Dennis has now pits. Seems like softs don't really uh, last very well around here. I see what ties he's going for right now. Oh, and he's probably had a fail. Shit, Mahi's going far behind. Ah, right, so it's about against Tronix and um, Maher right now. Let's have a good look at this battle right over, over here. Tronix is sort of cutting, to be honest. Relying on, uh, relying on Ion to maybe give them, give them the warnings to him. But no, it's a very Tronix close battle crashed. right now. Very, very close battle. Pretty exciting to be honest. Oh, and Dragon and Stealthy have actually made it up to P6 and P7. But still, let's try and heal. Yeah. Who the hell is Pro Gamer? Pro Gamer is Leon from uh, Deadpool. He's quite a good performing driver, but today it seems like he's kind of struggling. Maybe he's, you know, the pressure with all these, you know, pretty top tier drivers. We got Outguard and. They're basically oh, saying that give all shit. Sorry. Allow me to allow me to elaborate. Bot guard. We got um, the flying My clown. Head. We got um, pumpkin left. We got Mahir. Family. Uh, we got Mahir. You're really rude for him, aren't you? But he's falling behind a lot. Maybe ten seconds, but I think he's still battling quite well. Oh, right, we also have Mahir. Yeah. Oh, and right now, looking at uh, the pits right now, Tronex is actually pit for mediums. RJ is also pitting for... Oh, he's just starting to pit right now. Let's have a look at what he's... Martin has the Grand Master Plan. Cool, P4. But he's slowly losing time against Outguard. Outguard's really pushing around here, to be honest, isn't he? And that's soft tires for RJ. That's pushed him back a little bit, but Leo's still kind of struggling against him, which he performed quite well at Malaysia with all the kind of top runners, but today he seems like he's really struggling at the very back. I like it today, to be honest, but it's not as bad. Alright, 
right, let's have a... Oh, seems like somebody's complaining a little bit. Because of the chat, we can't really see what's going on, but it seems like stuff is kind of falling behind. Maybe he has spun around, or perhaps probably, you know, gone that, uh, that corner cut. You know, I don't know. He might, I mean, he's currently the leader, and he's actually going to be battling Pikachu right now. It's going to be a good and interesting battle to watch right now. Let's have a good look at this. You know, he's starting to gain on Pikachu quite a lot. Uh, Stealthy and Pikachu, the McLaren and the Haas. Honestly, it's quite a roller coaster so far in this season, season honestly. Some really unexpected teams are starting to really push up their game. All right, it seems like Stealth is really starting to gain up on Pikachu right now. Maybe Pikachu's feeling under pressure right now. All right, now he's starting to cut off the time a lot. Very cool. Yeah, it is very good. Very good driving. Ooh, oh, I didn't mean that. I meant that you could uh, remote control things from Zoom. I didn't know that. Pikachu's still trying to defend his position. It's looking like a uh, Alonso sort of defense over here. And we now actually coming off that battle right now. Dragon Stealthy's teammate is now paying for another pair of mediums, being overtaken by Tronex Stealthy Pikachu. But that would probably give him the advantage and maybe the long run. But let's see how that goes for him. Mark Hill in the Amazon car. <laughs> the Amazon. Still trying, still losing a bit of time, but he's really uh, keeping his P4 position right now. That's going to make his team principal really happy. Matrix is actually performing quite well today. P5. Yeah, well, he ain't good enough for Mark Hill. <laughs> no, he, he ain't, he's nowhere near good enough. Nah. Oh, this Dennis guy's has disconnected. Up. And Dennis has disconnected. Yeah, that's very true. Dennis has disconnected. That's quite sad. He's been struggling quite a bit lately. Really performed amazing at Malaysia. But had a, like a, uh, a last turn sort of problem, and um, he got a cut, so pushing him back. Mickey's at right now pitting for some new tires. But yeah, um, Dennis is now out. But he has gotten a good result for Ferrari in a P4 for Malaysia. Seems like Dambo is saying in the chat that this is insane, probably because quite a lot of drivers and quite a bit of lag. But yeah, that's make out the pits, pushing him 40 seconds behind and uh, two seconds behind my hair. We're gonna be expecting quite a good battle soon, but we'll come back to that soon. Now, let's not forget about these losers over here, these P1 and 2 losers. Oh, look at these guys. Actually, oh dear. No, no, casual. I don't think you noticed, but look at this. My hair's actually starting to catch up to uh, Red Bull. That's just quite insane. Yes, I noticed. But actually, <laughs> wow, goddamn. We've got to have a good look at this battle right over here. Right, he's really starting to, you know, gain some time against Pumpkin. Seems like his ties are starting to die out. Damn, he's giving it a hell. He's might, he might break that one, that one and two um, sort of lineup right now. It seems, as, it seems that Dennis has left the server. Yeah, yeah, he is disconnected. And left the server, bro. He was too bad for us. Not good enough. <laughs> nah, that's just a normal Ferrari star chat. And Musta has now left. But we also potentially, you know, we're disconnected. Now Matrix follows Pumpkin into the pit. And yeah, let's see what ties he now gets. It's quite lucky. He's getting another pair of mediums. And Matrix is following behind him. Before he... That's quite a latest pit stop. That's my hair P2. Yeah, that puts uh, my hair up to P2. Tronix is gaining some ground again, but he's still quite far behind my hair and Outguard. Now let's look at Outguard. He's uh, really gapping these guys really, really well. 13.7 seconds gap from P2. To be Another honest, I think he's safe to say that he's disconnected. Oh, wow. wow. That's a Mercedes. Oh, he disconnected, now. he disconnected, he disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Mercedes. I can't lie, that's a good funny thing looking. I gave me quite dominant last season. Oh, that's just painful to see. Trying to perform quite well as well. 
fire. Bad sight, and here we are. We're seeing um, Duncan and Alfgaard both pitting right now. It's gonna real. Mahera's actually gonna gain some ground and will actually pass Alfgaard by a second. No, sorry, not that. Screw that. Probably five seconds because pit stops now are 19 seconds long. Oh, never mind. Mahera actually follows Alfgaard into the pits. So he's following Alfgaard's strategy right now. And Duncan's also going for. Uh, a lap pro pit stop with hard tyres, quite a risky one because nobody ever really uses hard tyres anymore. But let's see how I uh, get them. You, you need to use two tyre compacts, right? What? Yeah, yeah. How the hell is more here P5 now? Because you have to pit stop, mate. You have to pit stop. Ah, shit. Yep. And this puts them back. So far, uh, the master plan, though, you can't uh, like. Dragon and now he's battling Matrix. This might give a little bit of pressure to Matrix, but. Listen, you know, it's all part of the master plan, alright? Sorry, make casual. It's all part of the Peugeot master plan. <laughs> so Amazon uh, do their last minute deliveries. Nambo's now paying. I think it's probably his second time pit stopping, maybe. But he's going for another uh, set of medium tires. Oh. He is 51 seconds behind it. I think he's going to be battling Leo quite soon. And RJ now pits again for. Maybe mediums or another soft, so I'm not too sure. But Alcard is very merrily and easily still in first place after a pit stop, which is insane, honestly. And he's got the fastest sector. However, though, Mick takes the fastest lap of the race. Quite interesting, to be honest. Really interesting. Seems like Wolven's kind of struggling all around here. My head will be P1 watch. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping not, but if it happens, it happens. It's just racing. But no, I think Matrix might be uh, defending really, really well. It's quite a good close battle against these two. Sure. Oh, Mahai takes that turn, that chicken really, really well. Damn. That's actually really impressive. This guy's really impressing. Quite a good few of us today. Especially you, Casual. You're really rooting for the guy, aren't you? Of course, of course. But however, um, oh, and Matrix gets the fastest uh, Sector 1 as well. And Alkaid also has a purple Sector for Sector 1 as well. These guys are saying really quick times, and Selfie also has the quickest uh, lap off the race. But he is 26 seconds behind. But you know, that one extra point, if you can keep that fastest lap, will definitely benefit him in the long run, hopefully. We are looking at this absolute mess of a Ferrari or Matrix. Ugh, look at this guy. Bro thinks he's actually a pro gamer. Nah, this, game, this guy ain't got nothing against. Uh, you know what? I'm hoping my hair passes Matrix. But no, it's a quite a very good race right now. Start with 19 drivers, and now we're still left with 16. That's quite a good record for HIFO so far. And it looks like, in the back, it seems like Duncan and RJ are battling each other for P15, while they are pretty much right now getting lapped by Outguard and Mick. Quite interesting, you know, and... Well, never mind, sorry, no, it doesn't seem like it's out and Meg. Who is it then? Well, never mind, they're getting lapped by Matrix and Maher, actually. Never mind, that. Damn. These guys are really sending it. Matrix also has the fastest lap off the race. These soft tires are really benefiting him. And yeah, Dragon is also in P4, which I've not really noticed. It's quite an intense uh, battle for P4. These guys are really desperate for it. And oh, crap, damn. Pumpkin and uh, Dragon are literally neck, like literally head to head against each other. And it seems like maybe. Um, That's cool, bro. All right, blah. So <laughs> Pumpkin's like really slowing down a little bit, but yeah, it's quite an interesting battle for P3 against Dragon and Pumpkin. Uh, Matrix and Maher may or may not catch up with those guys in front. So it's very close. Mm, Maher will be P1 watch. I don't know, I don't know. Looks like Mahara's starting to, you know, starting to feel it. But, oh, damn, he passes out Matrix really well. Jeez. That was insane. What did I say, bro? 
<laughs> That's actually sick. This guy's actually incredible. Debut race. This guy's like a rookie in the league and insane. In a like a low sort of team. Damn, that's a really, really impressive. That's an incredible signing that the team principal has made. Did you just call? Did you just call Pedro a low team? Yes, I have just called him. You got a problem with that? Yes. Well, tough luck. No, not tough luck. But it seems like the Amazon Prime second driver, Leon, is on hard tires and is really far behind. It's quite um, a difficult race for these guys at the back. And Dambo's kind of struggling as well this season. He's a really good driver, but it seems like the competition has really increased. And yeah, it's probably starting to feel that pressure. Matrix has now started to pit, still take the back lap of the race. And Stealthy probably is following him. Oh. And Bath got lapped by Mahim. Seems like Adobe just took over for a, for a reason. But yeah, Stealthy is on. Uh, some mediums now that's completed a few tie compounds and yeah matrix is now meeting up with pikachu pikachu's kind of falling behind but p6 and 7 is quite a good point sort of range matrix does also keep his fastest lap and maher actually wins uh doesn't really technically win it but he was really giving it all and um yeah and maher is actually catching up with goddamn um dragon and pumpkin this guy's really got an incredible pace with this with a Peugeot. And it, it seems like he's starting to really pass a pumpkin very slowly. And he's really starting to gain up on and it seems like Lars has disconnected or maybe crashed. I'm not too sure. It's quite laggy today. But no, uh, Maher and um, Dragon are starting to battle for P3. Maher are P4. Jeez, look at these guys. I think Mahir is going to head, you know. It's a three-way battle. It's a literal three-way battle. Look at this. Incredible. So this is a, let's look at this. It's like a train. You know what? It's a really good race for Red Bull today, and it seems like a incredible race for Peugeot. Um, Haas could be put, maybe doing a bit more better, and Stealthy has left the game. Maybe he has crashed. I'm not too keen on that. Honestly, um, due to the Roblox chat, I can't really see what these guys are saying, honestly. Don't worry, you know what I said? Wait, what are you saying? What are you saying, casual? I said shut the fuck up, Dolphin. Oh my days, bro. Careful with your language, man. You don't want to get this video demonetized. Alright, okay, okay. Yeah, bro, we need those views. We need those views. We need those, um, men. It was the last minute talk, don't worry. Anyway. Uh, off topic. And uh, Dragon now goes into the pits. And, um, yeah. Pumpkin now takes P3. Maher is actually probably falling behind. Maybe I had a little bit of a mistake or just was losing a little bit of peace. But that's yeah, he, for he got cut in sector 2. Ah, uh, he got cut. Right, I got you. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, he did, he did, he did. But still, though, 4 seconds behind Pumpkin after a cut is quite incredible. I do think he's probably getting his ground back. And Pumpkin seems to be on quite old tyres, seems like it. And Dragon gets pushed back by 8 seconds maybe let's see uh oh, how far he's being pushed back seems like an all right race today from um ferrari and damn purple sector one he's you know making oh i'm making plus he just had a good old <laughs> but bro my mind just flew <laughs> what <laughs> Matrix uh, just kind of messed up his lap, I think. He might have gotten a cut for that, but... No, this guy's really dominate, dominating this race with laps. Oh, the goddamn qualifying merchant. He isn't, he isn't really... You know, good with qualifying, but he's good with racing. And he seems like he's gotten a cut, maybe. You know what? This actually might give it... This is actually giving a chance for Pikachu to catch up with him. Uh, as we look right now. Oh, my head. Yes. A new set of uh, tires. Soft tires. And my hair takes P3. Right now it's a P2 and P1 for uh, Red Bull. If that could be the result for today, honestly, I think the team principal would be extremely, extremely happy having a good boost in the championship. What else would he be, bro? What else would he be? Huh? Well, what else would he be? Would he look at his drivers and say, oh, you, you lot, you did terrible today? <laughs> yes, because I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but like, oh, okay. But I hate to say it, but like, Amazon Prime starting to catch up with eBay. <laughs> so, 
Like this guy, look at it, look at him. He's actually <laughs> catching up really, really well. It's too good, isn't it? Oh my days, this guy's absolutely. This guy's like oh. Lightning McQueen's stepdaughter. <laughs> what? Lightning McQueen's stepdaughter. Look at this. One second gap. It's insane. Look at this guy. Mick also takes uh, purple sector two. No, you see, of course, because like if I was racing, right, I would have gone P zero. And then, like, my heart oh my days, what package do you think Mahou's carrying right point. now? Mahou's actually giving his all. Ah, oh my days, bro. This guy's carrying my goddamn e chain package right now, bro. Bro, this bro. This guy's going at it. Look at this bro. guy, he's insane. Listen. Yeah, he, uh, it looks like he's ahead. Looks like he's yeah, ahead. Yeah, he's like the time to. Science to really secure that gap. Wait, let's not forget, Mickey Science is really, really ahead now. Of these guys. Mickey Science will catch up. It's gonna be a three-way battle for P2. But my head's right now. Oh, my P2. P2. And Pumpkin's fallen back, I think. Uh, maybe a lack of pace. But Mickey's really excited to catch up, giving it his all. He's pushing like out this se the season. He hasn't really had that much of a um, competition in season one and two, but it's still really I difficult can't to, hate me, to really keep that consistency. But right now. Seems like the I can't hear what you're saying, mate. Shut up. Oh, and uh, Mick has gotten a cut. No, you, bro. No, nice. Yeah, Mick has fallen kind of behind, and Mahez actually secured that P2, and he's about to lap Leo. Leo's on the hard tires and science kind of struggle, but Mahou's actually giving his all. And um, yeah, but Outguard's really sick. Let's 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 move on to Outguard over here. Look at this washy Mick 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 washy little slushy. Look at this guy. Oh, look at that guy. Big are cool. You know what? There's a reason why this guy's in a wheelchair. You know, this guy's added the extra four wheel horsepower. That's the reason. This guy's got a total of eight wheels on his car. Now, if we use the <laughs> mathematic, shut up, Flipper. I'm, I'm trying to use some maths over here, okay? Now, no. if we use that mathematics, ha! that's giving him four times what? What are you screaming about? <laughs> what? See, mate, what? Has... <laughs> shut up about maths. <laughs> Nobody cares about maths. I care about maths because right now okay. it seems like my then mathematics. You are definitely a super both of you shut up, man. Both of you shut up. Both of you shut up. Okay. No. You're relevant. Get out. I know you're irrelevant. That's not nice. That's not nice. I'll say that again. <laughs> I'll say that. That's not nice. Uh, you know what? That's kind of hurting me, you know. Don't say that again, please. It's really hurting me. Anyway, going, we're going off topic over. We're just using about, about to use some mathematics and why Outguard's quite quick today. Now, looking at his wheelchair. Stop using maths. Come on. Listen, listen, listen. Let me speak. No, no. Look at his look, 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 no, 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 no. I will, I will explain. So you see that? Basically, he's in a red, he's in a Red Bull car, right? And no, everyone listen. knows. That if you if, listen, listen. Red Bull gives you wings. So basically, he's been using his wings for extra speed. Oh my days! This also links. This also links to Five Nights at Freddy's, the bite of eighty-seven. Shut up. Oh, okay. I thought I was being funny for a moment, but no, you just screwed it all up. Kill yourself. Anyway. Looking over it, Mick is starting to uh, get close to my. Yeah, nice. You can't got nothing on my here with that trans car. Anyway, uh, Pikachu's now got an, uh, a set of soft tyres. And he's P in P9. If you could take two points home, that would be pretty nice. And Outguard is actually now pitting. Anyway, allow me to explain the reason why Outguard is quite quick. Now, his wheelchair is actually made from Red Bull. Now, they're actually using the same out. There's nowhere in the FIA rules that you can't use a wheelchair as your, as some extra wheels, you know what I mean? If we look at the old, um, you know, um, at the old F1 cars, they used to have like six wheels, didn't they? Six sorts of wheels. You know I'm, I'm making some good theories up over it, and Mick and Pumpkin are starting to pit right now. Leo is also following. Oh, oh what yeah, happened to Outguard? Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, Mick in P5. Probably hasn't made a mistake. And Matrix now in P4, but he has taken the fastest lap. And Dragon's in P3 and P2 is actually Maher. 
starting to uh, get close to uh, out guard, but with the new ties, I think he's probably going to lose that gap. But as long as he can, Mahou can keep that gap between Dragon, damn, it's going to be pretty good. And I'm, I'm sure Dragon's going to be quite happy after um, a pretty sad result in Malaysia as the safety car, as he claims, ruined his race, which eh, probably did. But safety car, the drivers were crying about it. I offered them whatever they wanted. I warned them, and here we are. I mean, Dragon wasn't really there during the, and, you know, HFI wasn't as crowded as today. But you know what? It's so successful. And um, yeah, GG to these um, drivers. But no, um, Outguard using all his wheels, especially the bottom wheels, giving that 360 spin and everything. But you know, he's really giving it his all, get extra, pumping out that extra four time horsepower. But now, nah, Maher, you can't outrun the Amazon Prime. All right, that's a good cut out, guard. Well, I thought I said the, uh, the track to um, the strict. It is on strict. That's unfair. Jeez. What's happening? What's happening to the rain today? Come on, man. I don't know. Come on, man. It's not really fair, but okay. But no, um, right now Dragon is starting to gain up on Maher, but Maher is actually starting to gain up on Alpha. My hair's what number are, one, bro. What, 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 are, what, are saying, what are we saying, fellas? What are we saying? Um, do you think Maher actually maybe have a chance? Yep. Might have yes. a chance. If no, I'm it's not. Listen, league. bro. It's not maybe. It is 100% a chance. Right, you're saying 100%. A chance, bro. It is like destined. If you win, if you car, Come on, be corrupt. Safety car. Huh? Be corrupt, come on. Give us a safety car. For no reason. Hmm, safety car. If you pay me, um, four rupees, I'll do it. I don't have rupees. I ain't giving you crap, bro. Exactly, you guys don't have rupees. Now, stop complaining. I'm gonna be a fair FIA today. I'm gonna have root for Alfgaard to, um, show that the Paralympics is good. <laughs> the wheelchair dudes are all quick. The guy's literally bone stock. And I hate to say he's literal bone stock. If you look at his avatar, he's literally full of bones. Um Mahe's actually really put doing a great race uh, for his debut and it seems like Dragon's actually overtaken him. And I've noticed that uh, Pumpkin has fallen behind to P6, Matrix is in P5, and Mick is actually starting to fall behind a little bit. Oh, he's probably gaining on my hair. Might ruin his chance on getting a podium today. Ooh, oh, oh, dragon. The oh, monkey get back uh, with my head go in front of it. Yeah, but you know, dragon has been performing really well this season. All right, looking at the stream right now, ASM has probably pit and he has pit for softs. You know, actually, uh, that's quite nice. I haven't really seen this guy much today. I mean, he's an irrelevant little clown anyway. Took his first win in uh, Silver Stone last season, and now he's irrelevant. Let's go! And Maher's actually now pitting. How are we gonna get overtaken by Pumpkin and Matrix? And maybe no, not not Bali. But no, it's pretty damn good right now. He's he's going for some soft. Oh, what lap are we in? He's going into the pits. What lap are we in? We're on lap 26, 26 out of. So we've got like five more laps left, my my friend. Yeah. I think you might. I think you'll catch up. Because trust me, I've I used to race in Formula Two. Flipper, you'll remember this. And um, no, damn. I don't remember this. Really went back in my day. I've closed that part off. off. I've closed it off. Okay, I've closed yes, it off. Yes, you were very corrupt back right then. You were very corrupt. Very corrupt. You ruined my races. Skill yes. issue. Skill issue. I didn't care about Formula Two. I can't lie. Nobody cared about Formula Two. Yeah, no one. The only reason why I was the only reason why I was so alive was because of. Uh, our, our friend group. That's the reason why I was so alive. Anyways, Let's stop talking look. about it. Anyway. I've closed it off. Stop talking about it. Hey, shut up. Jeez, alright, man. Rose having, having some tears in his eyes. Okay, jeez. Anyway, let's look at Barta. He's been performing quite well for Afatari this season. Afatari's definitely um, been performing a lot better than other, other, other seasons. And, um... Yeah, it seems like he's kind of struggling today, but you know, Bart is actually leading a championship, I think, in another league, which he's a really skilled driver. I think I've signed a really great driver. It's incredible. 
And um, yeah, he's performed really well. I think he might meet over Matrix, uh, or maybe Matrix will outbeat him, but my hair's actually past Matrix now. And he's going to uh, second sector. Watch, he'll get to uh, P1, bro. Watch, he'll get to P1. No, he won't. I think, to be honest, to be honest, I think he'll get a podium. Because with those new tyres, it can be really overpowered around this track. After the that improvement, was the master plan, you know, that was the master plan. Just seemed like it. Now, Mick has uh, a standard can it? No, he's sort of gaining on Alcard, to be honest. But Dragon Form quite far behind. And it just seemed like Mick is going to be finishing the race with these medium tyres. And Dragon is uh, struggling quite a bit with these hard tyres. Maybe it was a mistake, but, you know, it's gone um, into P3. That's if Maher doesn't catch up. But, you know, looking at what's happening right now, Maher's actually ca catching up to Pumpkin. He's past him. Jeez, that's a, he's a speedy guy. Look at him. This guy, 100% of the driver of the day. Look at this guy. He's incredible. Yeah, he's kind of gapped uh, Pumpkin. And you know what? I, I think I, I definitely do think Pumpkin's got a secured safe uh, P5 for today, unless Matrix gains up to him with, um, uh, you know, with the new ties he's got. He's saying purple sectors and. Yeah, it does seem like Pumpkin's sort of struggling a little bit. Watch, 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 watch. Pumpkin goes really wide. Anyway, looking at Maher, he's, he's five seconds behind um, Dragon. I think he's got a chance for this podium. No, he's got a really, really good chance for this Wait, how many laps have we got left? We got two more laps. No, no, sorry, three more laps. Three more laps left. Three laps remaining. That's incredible. It's an incredible drive for today from all drivers. Now, let's have a little quick uh, check up uh, at the um, drivers behind. Bath in the Alfa Romeo, 151 seconds behind Outguard. Leon is 134 seconds behind Outguard. Dambo is in uh, P11, uh, 122 seconds behind. Leo is going to score uh, probably some, uh, you know, he's going to score a point today for Alfa Romeo, which, you know, a point won't ever hurt. ASM takes two points for Alpine, which he, this might kind of push back Alpine's chances on, you know, gain quite high up in the constructors. But, you know, let's see how it works. Pumpkins has also picked. It's quite a mistake during these last few laps, especially being having two laps left. And he's going to have to really push like hell to get that P5 from Matrix. Oh, looking at this, though. Maher's actually signed Oh, my hair is gonna do it. My hair is gonna dragon. do it, my watch. Maher's passing Dragon. Oh, look at this. It's an incredible battle right now. Come on. Mick is 10 seconds behind Outguard, and Outguard's probably secured this win 100%. He's done incredible this race. As he usually does with that wheelchair power. Paralympic idiot. But anyway, Mick is actually really sending in. He's probably the best performed race in the season so far. And Maher is now starting to really push, and he's, I think he's passed Dragon very easily, damn. And there we go, that's P3 for uh, Maher, now he has to just really keep this and really just push like it's a hot lap, every single lap now. But no, it's still not a disappointing result for um, Haas today though. Hot lap really meeting's gonna today. end. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's only one more lap left. How many minutes do you think it's gonna? Yeah, what the hell happened to drag? Let's do one, one minute. Okay. Uh, let's just hope for the best. I think we could probably just stop recording from that one, to be honest. Maybe. Boy, we're stopping already. Anyway, though, final lap. Mahir, Mahir, Mahir. The final lap for the drivers. And Outguard's really didn't actually oh, crap. Mick has actually caught five seconds. He might actually take the win for this. Okay. He may or may not take the win. Come on, Outguard, get a corner cut. Oh, okay, meeting centered. Uh, what? Well, uh, okay, makes three seconds now. Pretty nice. Might make actually take the win here. Uh. No battles going on. So yeah, no, it's just me trying to catch up to Outguard, who I think actually went wide there. Okay, Outguard, don't mess this up. Oh, and he's gotten a bump. 
might he have gotten a corner cut there? Yeah, makes 1.2 seconds now. If... Yeah, Mick's actually taking the lead. Oh my god. Holy hell. Yeah, Mick's not taking the lead. I think Outguard broke from the pressure there. Made a mistake at that. Yeah. Interestingly, Mick's actually also got no corner cut there. So, yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, yeah. My hero's not, definitely not gonna take the win here. But... Yeah, he just needs to leg it home now for a podium. A podium on uh, his debut. That's actually pretty great. As Mick wins, <laughs> okay, the Australian Grand Prix I th and Outguard. Disappointing for him. He led the entire session until the very last lap. That's pretty disappointing for Outguard, I suppose. And yeah, Mick, I think, is relieved there. 12 cuts, wow. For Mick. Uh, so yeah, Mick wins. Mahir second. I mean, <laughs> Mahir third, Outguard second. Matrix fourth, Dragon fifth, Bali sixth, and Pumpkin seventh. Very disappointing for him, as that's Leo and Danbo. Very slowly limping towards. The finish line as Pika's Pikachu's uh, yeah, rounding the last few corners, so is ASM and Pro <laughs> Gamers at E12. And there's Pikachu going across the finish line for P8, and ASM rounds the final corner for P9 for the end of the uh, Australian Grand Prix. Very chaotic commentator's box today, but. Yeah, GG's. Uh, yeah, just subscribe, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Don't if you want. Dislike it if you want. I don't care.